Okay, please pay attention. All right, these are your notes for quiz 12. Study guide. There aren't any problems on this study guide that you haven't seen at least once this year. The only thing that's on here that you haven't seen, there's some vocabulary on this quiz, okay? But I'm giving you the definitions. So all you're gonna have to do is remember them. All right, so for problems one through three today, for those three problems, you're going to be doing the distributive property. And that's all. One of the problems that you'll see will look like in parentheses, five minus C. And then to the right side of the parentheses will be a negative one. So all you're going to do is distribute the negative one to what's inside the parentheses. Or in this case, you can take five and multiply it by negative one, and that would be negative five. And then you're going to take negative c and multiply it by negative one. And negative c times negative one is positive c. And that's your simplest form. The other problem you'll see will look something like one half times negative 42m plus 38. That means one half times negative 42m. So in your calculator, it would be one half times 42 negative. So this would be negative 21m. And then it's going to be 1 half times positive 38. And half of 38 is positive 19. Problem number four. <coughs> You're going to combine like terms. And the problem will look something like 4.4 W squared plus 5.6 G. minus 9.2g plus 8.3 w squared minus 5.7g. And when you're combining like terms, you're adding or subtracting the numbers in front of the variables that are the same and you're combining those. So the first thing you would do is take, you've got a w squared here, and you've got a w squared right here. So in your calculator, take 4.4 plus 8.3. And that is 12.7. So you're gonna have 12.7 w squared the only other variable in this expression is the g. So you've got a 5.6g, you've got a negative 9.2g, and a negative 5.7g. So in your calculator, you take 5.6 minus 9.2 minus 5.7. And you get negative what? Negative 9.3 and you keep the G after it. And that is your simplest form. 
Right, just identify the letters that are exactly the same. And sometimes it's easier to, you know, if you don't have a colored pencil, I used to tell people, okay, you got a W squared, so put a square around it. And then you got another W squared, so put a square around it. Add the two squares together, and it goes in this square, okay? And then you got the regular letter G, circle it. And then another regular G, and another regular G. And then add together everything that's inside the circles, okay? So either way works. Problems five and six. It's two more distributive property problems. But all you're going to see is a negative sign in front of the parentheses. So it's going to be negative in front of the parentheses and then 8s minus 8n. So this negative sign that's in front of these parentheses is the same as a negative 1. So your first operation would be negative 1 times 8s. And then it would be negative 1 times negative 8n. So then you would have negative 1 times negative 8n. And all this negative sign out here ends up doing is just changing the sign of everything inside the parentheses. Mm -hmm. So negative 1 times 8s is negative 8s. And negative 1 times negative 8n is positive 8n. So there's your simplest form. Problem seven and eight. In problem seven and eight, you have to combine like terms. Then solve. So you'll have a problem that looks like 9D minus 2D plus 3D minus 9 minus 5D equals 0. So the first thing to do would be to combine everything that has a D after it. Or identify everything that has a D after it. So in your calculator now, you can type 9 minus 2 plus 3 minus 5 and hit equals. And it's 5. So 5D. There's only one regular number in this equation. That's just the negative 9. So it just comes down. So it's 5D minus 9. And it's equal to 0. And you've been solving these two-step equations all year, so now you're just going to solve for the D, so you add 9 to each side. The 9's cancel. 5D is going to equal 9. And then you can divide both sides by 5. The 5's will cancel and D equals 9 fifths. You can leave it as 9 fifths if it's, uh, it's going to be a multiple choice quiz, so if your answers are in decimals, then just take 9 and divide it by 5. That's the goal. Then you've got, let's see, problems <coughs> 9 through 12. It's going to be distributive property. Then 
and solve. Distributed property, then you got to combine like terms. Combine like terms. And then solve. So it's just one more step. But again, you've done it this year. I've got two more examples for you. So one of the problems will look like 5 times y plus 4 minus 3 equals 47. So you're going to do the distributed property first. You got 5 times y is 5y. Then you've got 5 times 4, which is positive 20. This negative 3 just falls down, and it's still equal to 47. So the distributive property is done. The next step is to combine like terms. In this case, you're going to combine the 20 and the negative 3. So the 5y falls down, and you take 20 minus 3, which is positive 17. And it's still equal to 47. You subtract 17 from each side. And 5y is going to be equal to 30. And then divide each side by 5. y is equal to 6. And the last example, or the last type of problem you'll see, will look something like 16a plus 9 minus 11a equals 39. There's no distributive property to do because there's not a number next to parentheses. So you're going to go to combining like terms. And you're going to combine everything with just an A after it, which is a 16 minus an 11. So 16 minus 11 is 5A. The positive 9 falls down, and it's still equal to 39. Subtract 9 from each side. The 9's cancel. And 5a is equal to 30. And then divide both sides by 5 again. The 5's will cancel. And a is equal to 6. Does anybody have any questions? Well, I want you to get started on your study guide. <laughs>